in royal day that city stood our lowly cattle shed where our mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed Mary was that mother mild Jesus Christ her little child He came down to earth from heaven who is God and Lord of all and his shelter was a stable and his cradle was a star with a port the scorn lowly lived on earth our Savior holy we can't Mary rest unfounded that a stable should Tears and smiles like us he knew As he feels for all our sadness And he shares in all our gladness And our eyes at last shall see him child who seems so helpless is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the place where he is gone. Not in that poor lowly the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience and to the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this place glad with carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth. For the mission and unity of the church for which he died, and especially in this country and within this city. 
And because this, of all things, would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother, and all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the, this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ, give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen.
A reading from Genesis. These are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created in, the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field grew it before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and wa- watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed a man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man who he, inf- who he had formed. Out of, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to sight, and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree in the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be be alone. I will make him and help to meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him. <laughs> and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. As he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh inside thereof, instead thereof. <laughs> and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man he made he made a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and and his wife were not ashamed. reading from the third chapter of Genesis. 
Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy be belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy con conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return in unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothed them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it, the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a a recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay, shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And an an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those. The wayfaring men, though fools, shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away.
Lectura de Isaías Más tarde, el se Señor le envió al rey Acaz el siguiente mensaje. Acaz, pídele al Señor tu Dios una señal de confirmación. Hazla tan difícil como quieras, tan alta como los cielos o tan profunda como el lugar de los muertos. Pero el rey se negó. No dijo el rey. No pondré a prueba al Señor así. Entonces Isaías le dijo, Escuchen bien ustedes de la familia real de David. ¿Acaso no les basta con agotar la paciencia humana? ¿También tienen que agotar la paciencia de mi Dios? Muy bien, el Señor les dará la señal. Miren, la Virgen concebirá un niño. Dará a luz un hijo y lo llamarán Emmanuel, que significa Dios está con nosotros. Cuando ese hijo tenga edad suficiente para escoger, escoger lo correcto y rechazar lo malo, estará comiendo yogur y miel. Temple of the Lord. 
and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings, and behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men.
A reading from Luke. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall oversee the shadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he, hath, he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath hope in his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered and she brought forth a son and her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord has showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. Glorifica, Señor, mi Dios, todo. 
Dios hace mi espíritu en mi salvador. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Ha mirado la belleza de su sierva, muy dichosa me dirán todos los pueblos, porque en mí ha hecho grandes maravillas, el que todo puede, cuyo nombre es santo. Mi alma glorifica, Señor mi Dios, goza se mi espíritu en mi salvador. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Su clemencia se derrama por los siglos, sobre aquellos que le teman y le aman. Desplegó el gran poder de su derecha, despesó a los que piensan que son algo. Mi alma glorifica al Señor mi Dios, goza se mi espíritu en mi sagrado. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Derribó a los contentados de sus tronos, y ensalzó a los humildes y a los pobres. Los hambrientos se saciaron de sus pieles, y alejó de sí vacíos y a los ricos. Mi alma glorifica, Señor mi Dios, goza se mi espíritu en mi salvador. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Acogió a Israel su humilde siervo, acordándose de su misericordia. Como había prometido a nuestros padres, a Abraham mi descendencia para siempre. Mi alma glorifica, Señor mi Dios, cosas se mi espíritu en mi salvador. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Mi alma glorifica, Señor mi Dios, goza de mi espíritu en mi salvador. Él es mi alegría, es mi plenitud, Él es todo para mí. Él es todo para mí. Lectura de San Lucas, el nacimiento de Jesús. En esos días, Augusto, el emperador de Roma, decretó que se hiciera un censo en todo el imperio romano. Este fue el primer censo que se hizo cuando Sireneo era gobernador de Siria. Todos regresaron a los pueblos de sus antepasados a fin de inscribirse para el censo. Como José era descendiente del rey David, Tuvo que ir a Belén de Judea, el antiguo hogar de David. Viajó hacia allí desde la aldea de Nazaret de Galilea. Llevó consigo a María, su prometida, cuyo embarazo ya estaba avanzado. Mientras estaban allí, llegó el momento para que naciera el bebé. María dio a luz a su primer hijo, un varón. Lo envolvió en tiras de tela y lo acostó en un pesebre porque no había alojamiento disponible para ellos. Esa noche había unos pastores en los campos cercanos que estaban cuidando sus rebaños de ovejas. De repente apareció entre ellos un ángel del Señor y el resplandor, resplandor de la gloria del Señor los rodeó. Los pastores estaban aterrados, pero el ángel los tranquilizó. No tengan miedo, dijo, les traigo buenas noticias que darán Gran alegría a toda la gente. El Salvador, sí, el Mesías, el Señor, ha nacido hoy en Belén, la ciudad de David, y lo reconocerán por la siguiente señal. Encontrarán a un niño envuelto en tiras de tela, acostado en un presebre. 
De pronto se unió a ese ángel una inmens inmensa multitud, los ejércitos celestiales que alababan a Dios y decían, Gloria a Dios y en el cielo más alto y paz en la tierra para aquellos en quienes Dios se complace. Cuando los ángeles regresaron al cielo, los pastores se dijeron unos a otros, vamos a Belén, veamos esto que ha sucedido y que el Señor nos anunció. Fueron deprisa a la aldea y encontraron a María y José, y allí estaba el niño, acostado en el pesebre. Después de verlo, los pastores contaron a todos lo que había sucedido y lo que el ángel les había dicho acerca del niño. Todos los que escucharon el relato de los pastores quedaron asombrados. Pero María guardaba todas estas cosas en el corazón y pensaba en ellas con frecuencia. Los pastores regresaron a sus rebaños y glorificando y alabando a Dios por lo que habían visto y oído. Todo sucedió tal como el ángel les había dicho. Gold and frankincense. 
incense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country. and best of the stars of the morning dawn on a darkness and lend us thine aid star of the east the horizon adorning guide where our infant redeemer is laid brightest and best of the stars of Dewdrops are shining. Low lies his head with the beast of the stall. Angels adore him in slumber, reclining. Maker and monarch and savior of all. Brightest and best of the stars of the A reading from Hebrews chapter 1. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the Father by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee? And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels he saith, Who maketh his angels spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. And they shall all wax old as doth a garment, and as a vesture thou shalt fold them up. And they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail.
Let us pray. O God, who has caused this holy night to shine with the illumination of the true light, grant us, we beseech thee, that as we have known the mystery of that light upon earth, so may we also perfectly enjoy him in heaven, where with thee and the Holy Spirit he liveth and reigneth, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son to take our nature upon him, bless you in this holy season. Scatter the darkness of sin and brighten your heart with the light of his holiness. Amen. May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the glad news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. May God, who in the word made flesh, joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven, give you his peace and favor. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this night and forevermore. Amen.